And we're back with our hero Cam, who has landed successfully onto the moon. But uh, will he be able to get home? That's another story entirely. Hopefully we have enough fuel left to uh, to jump out of this place. Uh, I guess get into orbit and back to planet Kerb. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. We're flying. He's, he's, he's like an acrobat. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore this place a little bit. Just to get an idea, I kind of saw this hill up here. Kind of want to check it out. Get like a nice little view. Uh, we got our lander over there. Actually, oh my gosh, we're going really fast. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Stop. Oh my gosh. I can't even control him right now. Don't die. He's doing cartwheels. All right, good. Don't move. I'm not going to tell him to move until we come to a complete stop. Uh, because, like, that's what they tell you in motorcycle racing. I used to, be, I used to race a uh, super bike. And, uh, and you, you get used to the speed. And you try to stand up when you're still moving, like, 60 miles an hour. And you start cartwheeling. So, yeah, that's a good lesson to use here. Is to not stand up until you stop moving. There we go. You good? You good? <laughs> wow. All right. So... Uh, so much for, uh, so much for that. That was extremely dangerous. I can't believe he's still alive. Uh, and nothing's broken. But okay, well, um, I do still want to get to that hill. Let me, uh, let me try to, oh gosh, I don't know. I feel so alone out here. It's just so, it's so, uh, like big. Uh, it would be kind of nice to come here with a team or maybe a rover, some equipment, and really get a chance to, uh, to look at this place like that. But, uh, but just being out here alone is, is a very eerie feeling. Uh, because I feel like something could just jump out and get us. But all right, um, yeah, I mean, like I think I think we've seen enough here. Let's let's try to let's try to get back and, and uh, survive this whole ordeal. Or we might actually be uh, we might just end up being stuck here uh, for I guess until a rescue team comes. So let's go back to the lander, deposit our data, our findings that we have uh, discovered here, and uh, and hopefully we'll finish this mission so we can have tons of money and tons of science to uh, to build a much better lander and space explorer for many other places to go. All right, now I'm starting to get the hang of this backpack thing. We're uh, we're doing pretty good here. Coming on into the ship, let's see if we can uh, n uh, jump on the hatch here and deposit our data uh, with style. Let's let's zoom in here, get the real effect. Come on, Cam, you can do this. You're a hero. You're you're our first, uh, I think, first like Kerbal to make it on the moon, really. Uh, I mean, besides Jeb, who's uh, who's uh, like pancake. Okay, so let's let's go this way. And oh, grab it. Yes, look at that. He's like, <laughs> I'm so scared. All right, so uh, go ahead and uh, board, I suppose. How do we deposit? Oh, yeah, store experiments. Boom. Okay, so that's good. Hey, you know what? You know what? Can we store some more? Take data. No, we don't want to take data. Uh, let's let's see if we can find some more stuff out here while we're here. Um, boom. Can we can we take like another uh, like another EVA like right here? Can we do another one? Oh, look at that! There's another one. Wow. Something dramatic, poignant about the plight of Kerbal Kind in his grand universe to be cut off by a random radio chatter uh, <laughs> that the situation is normal. Alright, let's take that and uh, jump back on the ship here, I suppose. Let's get our uh, little rocket pack out here and uh, deposit this information as well. There we go, right? Okay, yeah, just climb on up. Alright. And store experiments. Oh... Oh, not all items could be stored. Oh, okay, so we can't really store anymore in this little uh, module here. So we're just going to have to hold the, uh, the, the notepad uh, on our own person. And let's get in here. Let's board the ship. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh. Oh, we can't store anymore on this Mark 1 pod. Maybe that's what a science bay is for. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to have to try to get more uh, fancier equipment next time we come out here. Much bigger spaceship because, uh, oh, you know what? I know what we could do. I know what we could do. We could send, we can send the signal. Um, darn it, darn it. Let me, uh, let me see if I could send something and then, and then take something. All right, so I just went ahead and dumped the experiment that we just had just outside this lander. I think this is uh, a biome here for research we can do later. Uh, but we, we put our flag here so we know we've been here. So we know uh, like what, what we can need to uh, research, what crater where. Uh, I think we should put f flags in every crater that we've been to. All right, so let's try to send this data. I think we got plenty of power. Um, more or less, because I think there's an alternator on our engine. So let's, uh, let's send this data. What the heck? Can I send the data? Uh, right here. Transmit data. Boom, do it. Let's take a look at our power. All right. Not enough le electrical charge. <laughs> um, aha. Uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm sure we'll get some electrical charge uh, back when we're uh, when we're taking off. Did we did we complete our mission though? Yeah, we completed our mission. Oh my goodness! Next time, more batteries, more charge, more just more everything, more more uh, more everything. Okay, stop transmitting. That's okay. That's enough for now. You did good. 
Uh, I'm gonna come out one last time and uh, and see if I can uh, grab any more data along with us. And uh, and then yeah, that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be it. And then we're gonna try to take off and uh, and just be done with that. All right. So here we go. Real simple, like EVA report. Boom, some science, whatever, take it, and all right, let's try to take off. And I have discovered there's no way in heck we can leave the moon with the amount of fuel that we have. Uh, no matter how close we come, I've tested this like many, many times, uh, we cannot escape the moon's gravity with the fuel that we have. So we're going to need a rescue mission. Uh, unfortunately, here we are just drifting, floating along. Uh, I've tried so many different things. That's where our flag is. I'm just going to go ahead and reload it. And, uh, yeah, so we are stuck here. Poor Cam. Uh, hopefully we'll get a mission, some kind of paying mission for us to want to come back here again. But for now, he's just gonna have to sit here and wait. This poor, poor little, uh, Kerbling. Stuck in his pod. Hopefully he packed some sandwiches. You got any sandwiches around here, Cam? Yeah? No? Oh. So we are back at headquarters, and poor, poor Cam is stuck out on the moon, wherever it is. Can't quite see it from this angle, but he's out there floating around in space. It is so sad. Let's click on our station here so we can at least track him. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we got some uh, missions offered here to put satellites in these orbits. But yeah, here he is. Poor Cam, he's flying around out here. Uh, and so we can actually keep track of our flag, uh, or I guess all the flags that we place, and him. Um... Oh yeah, and also our debris, <laughs> that's just kind of flying around, but yeah, enough of that. Uh, oh, oh, I, oh, I don't want to terminate it, but yeah, okay, so um, let's go ahead and check the mission uh, the mission headquarters here to see if we can find anything that can take us back to the moon. Uh, so we can go ahead and try to rescue uh, Cam, poor old Cam, and, um, and try to get paid for it. Oh, here we go, plant flag on the moon. Oh, and they're offering 100,000 just to do that? Alright, that's so easy. Cool. So this is actually the perfect excuse to go back there, plant a flag. Maybe we'll do even more science at a, on a different site and, uh, and rescue Cam. Alright, so let's go ahead and build a massive, massive vessel here. Uh, almost got enough science. Let's see, how much money do we have? I think we have, yeah, lots. 300,000 just about. So, um, oh yeah, we need a new pilot too. And the only pilot I'm seeing here that's uh, available is Lori. Uh, so you welcome man <laughs> this poor guy. He's just like so we have uh, yeah one assigned yeah poor poor cam Oh, man. He's, he's a brave guy. All right, so we got Lori ready to be our pilot Wait a second where the heck how do we have Jeb back that's impossible he uh, he smashed into the moon. Oh, I guess I guess um Oh, I guess Kerbal's come back after a while. Well, that's nice. That's really confusing. I guess that's nice cool So he's back uh, <laughs> never mind, he's not dead. Well, he's supposed to be dead. Alright, so let's go ahead and build the most biggest, massive, uh, space shuttle, space shuttle that we have ever built before. Uh, since we got tons of money, and no excuses, we're gonna have a successful rescue mission on the moon. And we are going big. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip our rescue pod with, uh, with all this researching stuff here, all this mystery goo, uh, this, uh, Science Junior. Uh, tons of batteries, tons of uh, arrays, satellites, and enough parachutes to, for this thing to come uh, landing safely. Although we will probably have to add a second uh, pod on here if we want to rescue <laughs> as well. But uh, but yeah, and I'm going for uh, four lander legs here uh, so we can go ahead and have the extra stability just in case. Uh, we're going to start those, um, yeah, retracted. There we go, like so. Uh, and there we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add on the meat to this thing. Uh, and like I said, this place it has been upgraded, uh, our whole building, so now we have almost unlimited parts uh, to go ahead and build what we want to build. And welcome to our biggest, most ridiculous rocket yet by Crazy Face Industries patented. Uh, <laughs> yes, here we are. So this is the Swordfish. This is our rescue vehicle slash uh, maybe like, um, you know, like, like moon and other uh, nearby planet kind of vehicle. It's, uh, it's coming in at a whopping almost 30, 30 grand, but <laughs> is it, will it do the trick? That is the question. I'm tired of uh, making super cheap things that don't work. Uh, this, this has to work. It's just got to. With our new building in the background there, Lori, are you ready to go and save our little Cammy? Our little Cammy up, in the, uh, up on the moon? I think he's ready. I think, I think he's always ready. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I think we got the stages right. Let's just go over real quick. Boosters, separate the boosters. Then we got uh, these three engines here burning. Once the uh, end b uh, engines are done burning, let them go, uh, and then and then initiate this that. Uh, it looks it looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks good enough. And we got the fuel lines going the right way. Okay, uh, let's just do it. 
Oh! <laughs> um, Alright, this thing's a little bit heavy. A little bit heavy. But, um... But we're moving. I mean, we're, we're doing something. We're going. We're going somewhere. Okay, good. So we are, uh... <laughs> slowest takeoff ever. But, uh... Oh, that's okay, though. Eloy, uh, Elori's still having fun. And, uh, let's see if we can turn ourselves. Oh, yeah, we're pretty maneuverable with these little fins. Very little effort to kind of get us, uh, tilting wherever we want to go. So we are now a thousand feet in the sky. Amazing. <laughs> Not really. Um, but I guess it's better than nothing. So once we get rid of these things, I think the rest of our engines will, will get to work. Because I doubled up on these fuel tanks here to make sure it's pretty heavy duty. Maybe. Alright, come on. Let's get, let's get up here. Let's get up here. Come on, let's go. Come on now. Alright, so let's, uh, are we, uh, <laughs> really not going anywhere? What the heck, man? Uh, I think, I think we're a little too heavy. But maybe this is what it takes to be, like, uh, to be a champ. I don't know, like, to get us up there. I don't know. Wow, this is taking forever to get up here. Uh, and we're not even close to, like, 200 cruising speed, but... I guess, I guess it's better than before? I don't know, for the price range, it's really not... Well, I, I don't know, we get our science capsule up here, so it could be good. And we have made it to the two-thirds power range here. We are starting to tilt on over now that we're getting to like 10,000. So let's might as well start doing that now. And uh, uh, not quite full power yet, but almost, almost ready to go ahead and engage that as we leave the bubble. Uh, as before, let's take a look at the ground and everything. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to tilt around. All right, 45 degrees. Let's do it. Come on, hurry on up here. Hurry on up. Uh, oh boy, this thing looks really cool. But Kai, I like power. Like it. Let's go uh, full power. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. All right, now let's take a look at the map real quick. Bring this up. SAS is on, thank goodness. And what do we have cooking here? All right, so we are climbing. Climbing's good. Falling bad. So, wow, we're already almost done this stage. What the heck, man? All right. Well, I mean, I guess once we ditch these, at least this will be a uh, full, full uh, fuel here, and it's, it's double the size as we had before. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we almost had some damage there. Uh, almost like collided with us. Oh, but we got tons of fuel though. Hopefully this this contraption whatever we have going on here is gonna be enough to get us where we need to be going. Man, this is like taking forever. And we are rotating, getting ready to shoot for the moon. Uh, there we go, target acquired. Now it's just a matter of time. Yeah, there we go. So I, this is pretty much the best point I could have gotten here, close enough to our highest point. Uh, so we'll launch off here, join the moon that is coming on this way and hopefully rescue uh, poor old Cam there. Alright, so let's go ahead let's chase time a little bit. Let's speed it up a little bit and then start ignition at around 15. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed with, with our setup actually. I thought we were going to get like more bang for this whole uh, fuel thing. Like, look, this is almost where we were last time. Um, so, I'm not really sure if this is going to cut it to even be a rescue mission. Hopefully it will be though. I'm going to think, I'm going to try to be positive. And uh, hopefully we'll get there and everything's going to be good. And everyone's gonna go home. <laughs> and lots of science will be had, and if another flag will be planted, and tons of money made. Alright, so let's continue going. Really wanna have tons, I really wanna have like a full tank of this. That, that was my, that was, that was kinda like my wish. But I guess we'll see how it goes. Alright, and we are coming in here for a moon encounter. So here we go, hopefully it's gonna be better. This looks like some kind of very strange, uh, very strange gravitational something going on here. But let's see, alright, so we are now in it okay so I guess all that meant was that it's going to pull us back or something if we didn't do anything alright so oh here we go we can actually actually have a chance to go ahead and land right where uh, right where we need to be possibly I mean I guess getting orbit would be better actually yeah you kinda you kinda wanna establish orbit first and then make all the fine-tuning later uh, luckily this doesn't take much power to uh, to go ahead much speed to go ahead and get us where we need to go so alright uh, making our way and as we're making our way around the uh, dark side of the moon to go ahead and land uh, next to Cam, uh, I figured we might as well do some science experiments around here, check and see what the mystery goo is up to. Looks like we can recover some science from this area uh, just in space around the moon, so might as well keep that data. So this guy's expired here, we'll save this guy for when we actually land on the moon. Let's take a look at this science junior here, what, what can we uh, learn? So we get 50 science if we uh, retain some of this. But I think we'll wait till we get to the moon to really see what kind of, uh, to, to see what, what we actually get there. Alright, so let's go ahead and speed up time. I don't, I don't think there's any crew report here, because we've had crew reports in this area before. 
Right, yeah, no science. Okay, so let's go ahead, speed up time a little bit, and also, actually, let's let's start facing in the right direction, actually, before we, uh, oh, and how's our power? Oh, yeah, tons of power, tons, really good, really good stuff. Uh, all right, so let's go like this. Speed up time a little bit. And, all right, so just a 12-second burn to go. And it should put us right about, right about home. Okay, moment of truth coming up. I'm still kind of concerned about our fuel and if we can actually get out of here. Uh, really, oh my gosh. I mean, like, and we're heavier this time, too. <laughs> I, really, I really hope we can do this. I, I don't know, like, if you guys have any, like, suggestions or whatever, uh, let me know. I mean, I've watched a bunch of videos uh, and stuff like that and, like, read a whole ton of stuff. I still can't, like... Make an efficient... Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if we can go ahead and succeed at this. Uh, probably would be good if I initiated that at the proper timing. But alright, let's go here. And kill some speed here, retrograde. Get that stuff done. And alright, right about now should be good. Oops. Overcooked it a little bit. So what's that do for us now? Uh, are we gonna... No, that, that's good. No, we're still good. Actually, it's kind of ideal. It's kind of perfect. So right, once, right when we're over... Uh, our friend over here could pretty much just kind of uh, burn ourselves to a stop. Yeah, we'll we'll play it we'll play it by ear. I gotta admit, this is a really cool shot with the uh, <laughs> with the Earth kind of coming up over there, the Kerbin. Um, yes, yeah, so we are flying very low orbit now. Finally, on our way to uh, to go ahead and rescue our friend Cam. Uh, just hoping we don't clip these mountains though. That's one thing I kind of got us on a super super low. I went around the planet one more time just to reduce our. Uh, our uh, incoming here so it should be uh, yeah we should be just clipping the mountains <laughs> and then we'll just kill our uh, I guess horizontal velocity once we get closer but this is a really neat shot with the sun shining here uh, it's just beautiful I just really like other planets I just one day we're gonna get better at this like I'm gonna be a pro at this eventually uh, but right now it is a struggle I admit it's a struggle for me <laughs> trying to uh, figure this stuff out exactly but I'm sure there's a good method to it um, okay, whoa, uh -oh. <laughs> the mountains are coming up. They're pretty close. There's a lot of, I tell you what, not everything looks the same here. Um, now we should be able to see on the horizon. Um, oh, wow, we're getting, we're getting, uh, really low here. Should be able to see on the horizon, uh, Cam. Where's, where's Cam at? Cam, where are you at? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, are we doing this wrong? Probably. Oh, wow, this is actually our, our actual speed. We're actually flying, like, extremely fast right now. Oh boy, this has me worried. This has me worried. Is that a mountain coming right for us? No, I think we'll fly over the mountain. Let's, uh, oh, we can't go faster than, uh, than one times right now. Okay, so this is our actual speed right now. <laughs> it looks extremely dangerous. Um, so, so maybe, maybe, uh, we'll do like a little moonwalk with Cam to catch up to us. Darn it, I'm coming in a little too, uh, a little too shallow. 4,000. I think we'll be all right. Okay, and he has appeared on my radar. There we go, uh, 100 kilometers away. That is extremely far away. <laughs> so he's not going to be doing any running to us unless we get like right on top of this guy. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Jeez, a, a rescue mission uh, opposed, imposed up upon ourselves. Uh, and we might just get stuck ourselves as well. Or, or die. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on now. Come on, we can do this thing. We are definitely going to clear these mountains. And uh, tell you what, if I don't do this... Oh my gosh. That looks a little close. We're, we're catching up to him, though. We should be able to clear these mountains. Um, no, it doesn't look like we're going to clear the mountains. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Shoot, man. Oh, my gosh. I should have known better. Okay. All right. Well. <sighs> gosh. Utter failure. Well, I guess you got to have a failure uh, every now and then. And uh, lost another pilot. Oh, and a lot of money. Sad days. Didn't plant a flag. Oh, gosh. Catastrophic failure.